started when I was nine years old, and um, it was an illusion. I, I, I dream uh, about being a singer and an actress, and then uh, I, I was always like playing and uh, singing in my house and whatever. And then I had the opportunity to be part of a group, and we we had four albums, and uh, we we worked very hard. But nothing happened, you know, those kind of situations. The second group that I was part of, it was like this amazing opportunity because they were already very, very famous uh, around Latin America. And uh, they were like Backstreet Boys then. So I had the opportunity to become part of them. And uh, we, record, uh, we recorded like five albums and we traveled all around Latin America and the United States. And it was a great, a great platform for me. And I learned a lot of things over there. And uh, I learned, first of all, the contact with the audience, you know, live performance. And that was, like, amazing because we were seven uh, singers. And every time that I, that I sang and every time that I had that mic, I forgot about the rest. It was just myself with the audience and the contact with the people and whatever. And it was incredible. So from that point, I, I was, like, envisioning the time to become uh, like a just like a solo artist and then I did it I just felt that you know like when you have the thing that little voice inside of you that says that's the time you have to do it now or never so I took the chance and I moved into Los Angeles I, I moved all my things over there and I start studying music and I start taking singing classes and I took guitar and dancing and everything that I could to improve myself and then uh, I met a producer over there and we start creating this my first album as a single uh, as a solo artist and uh, it was fantastic because it was like a fusion between pop and rock and I was more aggressive and like that kind of feeling you know it was a lot of controversy in my image because uh, I was kind of like the sweet little Talia and then I arrived with my with my crazy rocker look and they loved it and uh, that was my first album. I think uh, I'm, I'm honest and, and I do everything from my heart and uh, I just, just want to like I just want to like have a good time and I just want to like share that with everybody and I just want to go with go with like a clean mind and like a beautiful message to the rest of the world and share it and like and uh, I don't know maybe that maybe like all these years that I've been doing this and maybe like all these experiences good and bad and especially the bad experiences makes you stronger and makes you a focus, more focus in, in the next project. This is my 10th album and I'm very excited because it's in, in English and of course I have the opportunity to to put five, to add five Spanish songs, that is my language, but it's my first English album so I'm like completely thrilled and uh, the opportunity of working with these guys, like these big names, these producers, that are like amazing. Like uh, Cody Rooney, that he he's behind, you know, the music of like Destiny's Child, J Lo, Mark Anthony, uh, etc. Like thousand names, and uh, Steve Morales, who worked with uh, Christina Aguilera and Ricky Iglesias, and um, uh, Rick Wake. He's like such a lovely guy, such a talented guy, and uh, like many others. So I'm, I'm, I'm surrounded of all these great creators and all these successful people. So I feel like so comfortable and, and you know, the results are amazing. I love rock and I love hip hop and I love Latin music and I love uh, blues and I love rap so I, I just want to mix all of that you know like and I told them I sat with them and I said hey 
guys, look, I love this rhythm and then I'm, I'm this and I'm feeling this music and I'm feeling uh, these lyrics and, uh, and we put it in a blender and we shake it and it came like an explosive margarita. <laughs> Well, in this album you can find everything. You can find, uh, if you're heartbroken, like heartbroken, you can find like that song that, ah, relieves you, like, you know, like makes you feel relieved. And uh, if you want to party, you have that song too, like the crazy party song. You have love theme, whatever love theme you want. Um, I really appreciate like the fact that I have the opportunity to just talk about it things that I never explored before. Like I have a song name, um, I will share it with another girl. It's like this girl is like so passionate, so so passionate in love with this guy and like they're having this feeling, you know, and like she's saying, hey, you know what, if you don't mind, I know that you have your life and whatever, but you know, we can we can share, you know, don't worry about it. So that was like so open and that, that was so there. And I felt good to just tell everybody. To me, fans are the most important part of my career. And, and, and I consider them like my family. It's this society of people that just have good feelings and just want to improve themselves and just want to be better human beings. They give themselves a chance. They understand my music, my message, and they've been with me since I started. So that's so much for me. And it's great to, to know that you have people around the world that understand my songs in Spanish. And now that I have the chance to make a crossover in the English, that's great because they're gonna really understand uh, what I'm made for, no? Uh, I think we're gonna have a good time. This is the first single of my album. Uh, the name is I Want You. It's amazing, you're gonna love it. Uh, you have, we're featuring Fat Joe, and uh, you know, it's explosive. It's the kind of song like, to just play in the morning and keeps you going through the day and it's like, so like the beat is great and like the Pacho situation over there gives like another whole dynamic to the song. And uh, I don't know, it's like a love theme, but like very like hip. No. Come on. Jimmy Crack, the dog, no. Dalia. It was great because he, you know, he has these Latin roots too, even that he was born in the Bronx and New York City, whoa. But uh, he has that that flavor, no? And uh, to me, it was very important to to make that happen. And, uh, and you know, the fusion was incredible, like so powerful. And like when we're together in the video, you can feel like that, like ah, you know, like chemistry. Fashion is just a concept. I think uh, you made your own fashion, you know? It's just the way you project yourself and the confident, confidence you have in yourself. And then it doesn't matter if you're wearing like a t-shirt that is like $6 or like a Roberto Cavalli name, you know? It doesn't matter if it's, it's in you and your confidence and like to feel good with yourself, then you can wear whatever you want. Well, I enjoyed this time with you guys. Uh, it was such a pleasure to talk about my latest project, this album named Talia. And uh, this is the first single, I Want You. I hope you like the video, and this is just for you. I love you so, so, so much.